Okay, so it looks like I've got my training all worked out for the spring with my primary race being the BMO Vancouver Marathon on May 5th. Um, so I started this uh, this uh, YouTube channel sequence um, ma mainly for family and friends uh, who, if they care to, uh, monitor my progress uh, on my training. Um, but for those who don't know me, uh, my name is Doug. I live in Toronto. I'm a 55-year-old runner. Um, done 10 marathons before. Qualified for Boston um, several times, but have never managed to um, actually end up racing it. Um, I either lose out on the um, cutoff time, or there was the period where um, I did get in, but then COVID came around and uh, I had to do a virtual Boston Marathon. So um, I'm thinking this year might be my uh, best chance to um, kind of finally crack that. Um, I'm aiming for a marathon in Vancouver to get me well under the cutoff time. So um, that will be looking at a Boston qualifying time minus, uh, let's say, 10 minutes. And um, if I can do that, um, then I will be going to Boston in 2025. Um, of course, there's always lots of things that can pop up um, that can provide obstacles, whether it be frostbite, broken foot, um, COVID, um, you know, any other things, uh, lack of discipline, but, uh, you know, that's part of, uh, that's part of running. That's part of racing. So, um, no, I've done enough races in that. I kind of know what to do. Um, going to try to work on my nutrition a little bit more, cut back on the drinking, um, and, um, get more sleep, uh, recovery. Uh, I'm not getting younger, so I need to work on things like, uh, stretching and um dynamic um stretches and other uh exercises and that strength training so we'll see where that goes um but uh as it is right now uh, let me just pull this over and um show you what i've got lined up for uh up ahead i don't know if this is going to work very well but um yeah so i've got three races coming up my main race will be the uh, BMO Vancouver Marathon on May. I'm going to start training for that. I've got a 34-kilometer run called Around the Bay. It's the oldest run in North America. Uh, I've got that set for March 24th. Before that, there's a Chile Half Marathon. Uh, that's one uh, I usually do as well. I'm going to treat both of those, the Chile and the Around the Bay, as a um, tune-up race. Basically trying to lock in my marathon uh, training pace uh, for both of those. If I can do a marathon pace um, for that, um, then I should be in good position for um, carrying it all the way through for a full uh, BMO marathon. So my training plan, um, I'm in week one right now. And um, yeah, that was like uh, starting with an easy run. Um, I had some intervals uh, indoors, um, mainly because it was minus 15 degrees Celsius. Uh, I had a recovery run, um, and then I did a, a fartlek run on Saturday, and then capped it on um, capping it off on Sunday with a long run. All right, well, I've just finished doing my first long run uh, of uh, this training block, training for the Vancouver Marathon. Did pretty good today. It's uh, cold out, but um, lovely sunny weather, which makes things a lot easier. Uh, so my first week, uh, logged in about 42 kilometers. Uh, pretty tough in the middle of the week in the sense of the weather. It got down to minus 15 degrees which meant that my um, interval training workout run was done in the Monarch Park Stadium indoors, which was a saving grace. Um, and I got to do that with Bastien and uh, one of his friends from France. So um, going into the second week, next week, uh, there'll be a, a little bit more ramp up in volume 
a nice uh, workout run with intervals probably in the middle of the week and we'll see how that goes so um, Vancouver marathon May 5th uh, still got lots of time to go